Okay, let's get started. I uh, do know that a full set of instructions is sent out with every Rascal Dog litter box on how to care for the grass and also the same washing instructions for the grass. Um, they're identical for the big squirt or the little squirt. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to pick up, I call them Tootsie Rolls or the bowel movement and dispose of that, flush it down your toilet. That's going to be your first step. Okay? And I keep on top of mine, uh, I clean it out at least once a day, if not twice, because I have two dogs, so I make sure I keep it clean. Take out your grass and set that aside. Now for the basin itself, for both the big squirt or the little squirt, I like to really use a hot water and some antibacterial soap. I suds it up and then I let it air dry. So use some antibacterial soap and some hot water. All the pieces snap and unsnap together for both the big squirt and the little squirt. So you can take it all apart and clean it and then snap it all back together again. So that's your first step is cleaning the basin. Okay, you can also do a quick rinse in between washings. And I do recommend that you do rinse the grass before you put it in the laundry bag to really do the deep washing. Okay, if you live at a home, then you can take the grass outside and you, of course you can hose it off outside and suds it up in your backyard. But a lot of people who uh, purchase my product live in an apartment or a flat or a high rise and they don't have access to a garden hose. So on this uh, part of the video, I'm going to talk about how to wash the grass in your bathtub or in your shower or in the stationary tub or utility tub. So we do highly recommend that when you first wash the grass that you uh, either purchase the Rascal Dog Litter Box laundry bag or you can use a king size pillowcase and just knot it tightly at the top, okay? The reason we suggest that you wash the grass in a bag of some sort is the first time that you wash the grass there will be some shedding. There's holes manufactured in the back of the grass for the urine to drain through and that loosens the fibers on this side. Also when the grass is cut into the squares, these are raw edges and there's some shedding. So we just want to protect your drain. So take your grass and place it in your Rascal Dog laundry bag or pillowcase. And uh, make sure you knot the pillowcase at the top or if you purchase the Rascal Dog litter box uh, laundry bag, make sure you pull the strings tight and slide down the bead. Okay, that's just to contain any loose fibers that are, uh, that are loose, you know, possibly loose on the grass. Okay, so my tub is now filled with water. You're going to add your laundry detergent. Just pour it right on top of the uh, grass bag, bag or the uh, pillowcase, whatever it is that you're using. And you can add a quarter cup of baking soda. I just kind of eyeball it. There you go. And then take your grass pad and really get it, you know, going in the water and rinse it and wash it and push down and get those suds going. You're going to want to let the water out of the tub and then take your shower head and just give it a good rinsing. Rinse it really well. You can use a fabric softener to freshen the grass up, but not until your puppy is fully trained because you don't want the uh, fragrance the fragrance that's in the um, uh, fabric softener to mask the grass that so your puppy is going to want to go back or your dog to the familiar scent of their own urine. But once you're really trained, that's not a problem. So there's your grass pad. All washed. And you can just hang it over your shower head or you can hang it over the faucet and it will be dry by morning. And that's it for taking care of the grass. Okay, after you've uh, washed your grass several times uh, with either the laundry bag or the pillowcase, now you can really clean the grass um, because you don't have to worry about you know a lot of shedding at this point because any shedding that's going to happen has occurred. So what I do with my grass is I take it and I really suds it up. I get it wet first, rinse it like you did, you know, with the other grass, get the uh, excess urine out. Then I put my laundry detergent on, I put my baking soda on, then I really scrub it. You can actually use a scrub brush. 
and I really scrub the front and the back and then I'm going to rinse it really well and there's your grass nice and clean. If you have any further questions, please contact the office. Thank you.